so a few people have asked me to do some more sort of daily life videos uh, not just on the project so uh, today I mean we've had some pretty bad storms here drying out now um, but I could do with doing a bit of maintenance on the house before the winter uh, a bit of turf needs to go up on the roof I don't know if you can see that out there um, but yeah there's a bit been washed out so I need to re-turf that so the UV doesn't get to it I need to get in under a few places there's a bit of Cob missing up from a few places. Um, uh, this back window is sagging a little bit and won't close. This this piece of wood here is sagging a small amount and won't close. So I need to put a support in there. As you can see, I got some little holes up underneath the roof. I already went round and treated this. Uh, put some treatment on the log ends and the lowest logs. I did that earlier in the year. Uh, but yeah, just some general maintenance, tidy up inside, hoover up under the floors and everything. Uh, yeah, clean out the wood stove, chimney, just general maintenance, get ready for the year. Inspect everywhere, check we haven't got any rot. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go get some turf to start throwing that up on the roof and uh, we'll do some, some house maintenance. All the logs and everything are fine, there's no rot in them or anything really, so that's great. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just basic maintenance. Uh, you've got to maintain buildings like this because they won't last forever otherwise um, you know it takes constant maintenance really so let's get to it That was a lot easier than digging it by hand, so we'll bury that down and get some of that on the roof. got this uh yeah during the storm i had a bit of water running underneath the roof window and then coming into just only a drip so i need to i'm going to put some of this spare pipe left over from the uh workshop i'm going to tuck it in underneath the rim of the roof and that's going to act like a drip edge stop the water migrating through let's get that done now i've just got the um the other side of the roof turfed the bit that was See that's all turfed up again now, so see this has all come around here, this is no good. I was originally planning on making a proper nice wooden window up here but never got round to it. <laughs> These temporary things ended up staying but it's doing the job for the most part so we'll seal it in for this winter. One day I might get round to making a proper nice window for it. But for now we're just going to stuff a load more tarp and this uh, this coil underneath it and turf it all in and it'll be good. Right, let's get to it. Right, well that's a bit better. Sealed around, re-turfed. I'm gonna get up here because it's slippery. Keep sliding, look. Ugh. I could do it a bit more on that now, to be honest, but never mind. Hopefully it's got just about enough time to grass over again. The grass is just starting to go dormant, but it'll probably have a bit of time to, to root. So I'm gonna get down off here, happy with that. Got that little ledge round, there's like a drip edge, turfed up round it. All good. Let's get down. Right then, I'm going to get this uh, jacked up a little bit, this back window. It's only moved about 10 mil, but it's enough so that the window won't close fully, so I'm going to put a middle support in it. When I did it, I put all these in here and these in, because I, I suspected this might sag, but couldn't really do anything about this without blocking the wind down. I didn't really want to put a centre support in, but it needs it, so we're going to do it. So get this jacked up here. Oh, we're going to need another bit of wood on there. So let's try this now. There we go. Oh, there it 
it is. The window working properly again. So we go a little bit past it. Lifted up the whole back wall, then I'll measure it. I'll put the center support in here, something that looks quite pretty. Right, got this uh, piece made, looks quite nice too. Just get this in here, lower it down onto it. Might tap it in from the back actually. Yeah, should work though. Okay. Tap it in from the back and then lower it onto it. Should be good. Okay, send the supports in. Looks alright, just tidy up now and move on, do another job. Get nice and uh, prepared and organised, ready for winter. Okay, so I've just gone round and, and filled in some of the little gaps around where it joins the roof. There's a bird's nest in there, just up there, so I filled them in. Um, so that's pretty sealed now. Any little spaces we could get anything in, filled in. So that's good. Um, roof, the window now closes properly as it should do. So close that. That's all good, Seal, sealed up so we're not losing all our heat for the winter. And the, uh, the post in the middle doesn't look too bad, it actually looks quite nice. So I'm quite pleased with that. So now next job is to do a bit of work on the uh, hot water system because the hot water system has had a problem with it that I've never got around to fixing so I'll just show you what that is now we're just having a complete tidy up in here as well pulling everything out and hoovering so the uh, hot water system has always had the problem that when uh, you've finished heating the water once the water stops getting pushed into here it starts to siphon the other way so it pushes all the hot water along the pipe and then around the coil and then it disperses all of its its heat Move that out of the way for a bit more light. it disperses all of its heat then back around the coil you lose all your heat same with the uh, electrical so i've got a small immersion heater we'll talk about that in a minute immersion here in there heats the water up and then that water comes up out round and then loses all its heat again so and it, it, it does stay warm for quite a while but you know it's not efficient it the, the heat gets radiated it gets radiated back into the room so really it's just kind of like a radiator but we'd rather it stayed in the tank so we're going to put in a check valve so this is a check valve it's got a gate on one side of it so one way it can flow the other way it can't Okay, so it flows one way. So we're going to put that in in here, so that water can flow into the tank. It can't flow out. Remember, this isn't uh, the water flowing out of the tank to the taps or anything. It's just the the heating element. So this won't be dangerous. It will just allow the heat, hot water, to flow that way. That's all. Okay, so let's let's get that done. Right. So let's. Uh, just get this screwed on, make sure it's the right way. We want water to flow through there into the tank, but we don't want it to flow out the tank. There we go. Slide that one in there. tightened up then we'll bleed the air out of it out of there and that should uh, that should stop us wasting all our hot water okay so okay so the uh, connections fitted there's no one in your contacts oh. what my phone's going crazy there we go right got that fitted so just get a little fire going here now and uh, we can test it um, could have had the hot water heater on today but um just been busy with the hoover and everything so didn't really didn't really do it we'll get a little fire going here and 
and uh, see if we've got hot water. So what I was going to show you is, let's move that out of the way, move that out of the way, is someone asked in the last uh, video how I'm doing electric hot water, so this is how I do it. There's a 3000 watt immersion in here, which I can't run because that's too big. So what I do, instead of buying one of the expensive like uh, smaller immersion heaters that are like up to like 80 quid or whatever they are, they're, they're really quite expensive, I can't remember exactly how much they are, but they're quite expensive, put in a transformer. So uh, this is 110 volt transformer, so if that's 3 kilowatts, halves it and halves it again, so this ends up being a 600 watt. Um, immersion heater which is perfect because when I got the hydro going and when I got the uh, solar coming in I can run that all day and uh, and all the other stuff as well so that's how I do electric hot water uh, from the hydro sometimes overnight I'll have it on a timer doing half an hour here half an hour there um, throughout the night and then I have hot water in the morning or of course via the fire through the thermo siphon thermo siphons around goes along into the tank and now won't feed back out of the tank. Uh, so yeah, that's good. We've been tidying up. The, uh, the post is looking good. And the window, that's all done. That's uh, held that up again now, so that's not sagging. And Dot's been tidying up in here quite nicely. We've been hoovering up all round under the floor and under things and cleaning out and just generally get tidied up. So still some cluster about, still need to carry on, but get in there. Fire's getting going. Dot's just giving the windows a clean. First time they've ever been cleaned. I didn't even clean them after putting them in, installing them. They've actually never been cleaned, which is quite hilarious. Just getting them cleaned. Fire's going. Uh, chicken for dinner tonight. Um, check this hot water's working. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, really pleased. I feel like I'm nice and prepared now. Uh, the house is good for the winter. You know, you got to maintain your stuff. You know, this this house protects me through storms and, and all that kind of stuff, and it needs a bit of care. But for the most part, it's been really good. I mean, the only thing that's moved noticeably is that back window. I did have a suspicion that was going to happen, but um, but yeah, I don't think that looks bad at all. There's Dot again. <laughs> I don't think that looks bad at all. That that beam at the back. I think it looks quite nice. It's all about choosing the right bit of wood, and I think that bit of wood looks cool. So yeah, actually we can put some lights on. We've got loads of hydro power at the moment. So yeah, house is looking tidier and good. We've got, like I say, we've dots hoovered all up, up, all round underneath everything. You know, proper full clean, so excellent. Okay, so that's our uh, our maintenance done for the for this year. So uh, that's how I treated all the wood and everything. So all maintenance all sorted. So hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.